Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Stackapolis Jack here, bringing you another video, and today we are going to be discussing CYBL. So, as you can see here, Cyberlux posted on their Twitter Monday morning business update. We posted our investor relations presentation in order to provide strategic guidance to investors and shareholders. Thank you for your patience as we manage unplanned travel, etc. So, let's get right into it. This was later in the presentation, but I wanted to bring you this first so a lot of people viewing this will see this now the other day i believe they only have one listed one of their strategic supply partners and now as you can see here they have three they have wolf speed with a 9.8 billion dollar market cap they got boeing with the 132 billion dollar market cap and they have l3 harris with a 47 billion dollar market cap and these are the strategic supply partners for Cyberlux. Amazing numbers. Continuing on, as you can see here, where they will be selling some of their products. As you can see, you have places like Walmart, the Home Depot, Lowe's, Wolf Speed and Cree, Bowen, L3 Harris, US Air Force. Incredible. These big, big markets. And their products will certainly get lots of recognition in these stores. Continuing on, here's their extensive Department of Defense customer base. You have things like the Air Mobility Battle Lab, United States Special Operations Command, you got the Air Mobility Command, U.S. Army, United States Marine, you got National Guard, the Air Force, you name it. Just incredible. Eight of their, they got eight Department of Defense customer bases. And this is really just the beginning for Cyberlux. As you can see, here is their driving growth. This is very interesting. As you can see, expanding across government agencies, which they are doing very well and very exponentially right now. Targeting specific commercial markets, infrastructure spending, acquisitions, and joint ventures for acceleration. They got their driving growth in North and South America, driving growth in European markets. That's three different continents they're targeting, which is big. Their big continents as well. And as you can see, developing new technology and strategic intellectual property. Now, all of these are big. These six points are massive. And you look in the near future, you will see them continuing to draw growth in these areas. But continuing on, as you can see here, here are their projected revenue in the four different divisions they are within. As you can see, the 2025 market size for Floyd IUAS Solutions. It's projected to be 57 billion in the global market. The advanced lighting solutions projected to be 3.7 billion. The infrastructure technology solutions projected to be 86 billion. And the infrastructure software solutions projected to be a massive 341 billion. And you can see the projections here year by year and exponentially growing. As you can see, there's a big increase from 2022 to 2023 to next year from 2021. 2022 you're going to see massive growth within Cyberlux. massive massive growth and the last point we're going to here look at here is a big point the roadmap the roadmaps are always big and you can see here so you can see this quarter what they had happen quarter four you got an acquisition review you got the strategic l3 hairs the its acquisition review columbia 2 review iss acquisition review and you can see the end of the year, the Guatemala, Ecuador, El Salvador review, quarter one of next year, the Boeing strategic, that could be a massive one. You got more acquisition reviews. 2022, quarter two, you got another acquisition, three review, ISS review again. And onward, they got another six acquisitions confirmed by the end of this, just this year, as you can see. And onward. It's going to be massive, and they're going to be continuing talking to, as you can see, U.S. agencies, expanding in that area until the end of 2022. But overall, this was a very well-planned and well-put-out IR presentation for their shareholders. Very well-explained, gave different revenue streams. I really explained and detailed roadmap here, as you can see. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And of course, have a great day.